Hello everyone, today is Friday, January 12, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service. This is a Utah hydrologic briefing looking at our water supply, snowpack, temperatures, and precip for this year up to date. So when we look at the general weather pattern, this is what we see, and I've taken this from December 12, 2017. And this video is a rendition of the winds at about 30,000 feet. The red area is the jet stream. Where the jet stream goes, the storm track goes. The yellow dot is the Great Salt Lake. Give you a little reference there. And this is overall the weather pattern that we've had since mid-November to early November. High pressure is dominating the western U.S. as the jet stream goes up into Canada, picks up all sorts of cold air, totally misses the west for the most part, drops down into the Midwest, and then swoops back up onto the east coast. Uh, this weather pattern has resulted in very warm, dry conditions in the west and cold, frigid, wet conditions in the east. So let's take a look at our precip anomaly. And what I've done is just taken a look at the precip in the mountains, where it counts with regard to water supply. And what you see are not very good numbers. Warmer colors indicate below average rainfall, snowfall. That pink color is, an, is less than 30%. And this is from October through the end of December. So you look at the northern Wasatch, the you win is and then down into central Utah you know we're less than 50 maybe 60 percent and then you get down to less than 30 percent precipitation Colorado Utah Arizona and really poor shape the area up around the upper Green River Basin in Wyoming is probably the bright spot uh, with near normal conditions when you look at temperatures we look at the anomaly we start in October cooler colors indicate cooler temperatures Utah is in green we were about one to three degrees cooler than average. That's what you want, and that's what we were thinking maybe the weather was going to set up, and then we moved into November. Utah then had the hottest November on record at Salt Lake City on average of eight degrees above average. We had a lot of precip in November, but it all fell as rain up to about 11,000 feet. Didn't help the snowpack. The eastern part of the country is cooler than normal for the most. And then we went into December in that same dipole pattern where the warm in, in the west, cool in the east. Uh, and when Utah was somewhere around seven to 10 degrees, and then we hit January and we're really warm. It's been a really warm winter for us, record-breaking in some areas. Um, when you look at the East Coast, they're in an ice box, and it's a direct result of how that jet stream is going north of the western part of the U.S., dropping down in the Midwest, and then coming around in the east. Uh, it's, it's a direct dichotomy of, of what the weather conditions are in our country. When you look at snowpack as of January 2018, this is what the picture looks like. Now the Bear River drainage and the upper green, the northern basins, are doing better. As that jet stream drops down, it kind of skips across those two areas and provides a little more precip. The farther south you go, you know, Six Creeks, which is off of Salt Lake County, at only half of what they should have. If you go down to the Virgin River Basin at 35%, um, it's really quite dry in southern Utah right now. When you look at the water supply numbers, and this is basically the amount of water we anticipate, we're forecasting, to come out of, of the mountains from April 1st through the end of July. This is what it looks like. Uh, these numbers uh, reflect the snowpack, the soil moisture, the temperatures, all these things kind of go in. It gets modeled by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center, which is part of the National Weather Service. We're all here in a big room, um, and what you see are pretty grim numbers really across the southern half of Utah, especially the farther south you go, the worse it gets. Uh, the virgin at 35, the severe at 40, uh, the 54 percent for Lake Powell, but that also comes from Colorado right around a mix half of what you'd expect in uh, the Weber Six Creeks, the Provo, the Duchesne at 60, 85 percent the bear and that's a direct result of more snowpack and then the upper green is right around average. So there you have it. Uh, pretty grim numbers really. Uh, we're hoping this weather pattern will break but we don't see anything that looks promising really uh, we might have a storm on 18th 19th of January we'll see how that shakes out but then after that it looks like more high pressure ridging possibly 
into the end of January and into February, and then we'll have to reassess at that point. This is Brian McInerney. Give me a call if I can do anything for you. There's my contact info, and we'll go from there. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this. See ya.